exercise Formidable Shield involved 13 vessels this year. It is organized by the U.S. Sixth Fleet and aims at improving allied interoperability in a live-fire integrated air and missile defense environment using NATO command and control structures. The Royal Navy Type 45 destroyer, HMS Defender, intercepted a supersonic target using its Sea Viper system and an MBDA Aster 30 missile. French Navy Frem frigate Bretagne intercepted a similar target with an Aster 15 missile. According to the French Navy, the attacking supersonic target was destroyed in a few seconds by the Aster 15 after a nominal shooting sequence perfectly executed by the crew. U.S. Navy destroyer USS Roosevelt fired an SM-3 missile during the exercise. Designed by Raytheon, the SM-3 is a ship-based missile system used to intercept short- and intermediate-range ballistic missiles as part of the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System. The Belgian Ministry of Defense officially contracted the Consortium Belgian Naval and Robotics, formed by Naval Group and ECHA Group, to supply 12 vessels and associated equipment to the Belgian and Dutch navies. The construction of the first vessel, intended for the Belgian Navy, will start in the first half of 2021 for the delivery in 2024. The following vessels will be delivered between 2025 and 2030. Designed by Naval Group, these mine countermeasure vessels will be over 80 meters in length and will act as motherships. They are designed to deploy a wide array of unmanned systems such as UAVs, USVs, and UUVs via their mined warfare toolboxes developed by ECHA Group. The launching ceremony of the landing helicopter dock, Trieste, took place on May 25th at the Ficontieri shipyard in Castellamare di Stabia. It is the largest vessel launched in Italy since World War II. With a length of 245 meters, Trieste has a displacement of 33,000 tons. The vessel will be able to deploy Merlin and NH-90 helicopters as well as F-35B short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft. Trieste will be able to take part in amphibious operation thanks to its well deck and deploy amphibious vehicles and landing craft. The LHD is set to be delivered to the Italian Navy in early 2022. Huntington Ingalls Industries installed the island on the flight deck of CVN-79, the future USS John F. Kennedy. The aircraft carrier is under construction at Newport News Shipyard in Virginia. The 588-ton island, which will serve as the command and control center for flight deck operations, is one of the last steel structures, known as a superlift, to be placed onto the ship signifying that Kennedy is one step closer to being launched. Its christening is set to take place in November. CVN-79 is the second Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carrier being built for the United States Navy. 